I've got a 1963 Carvin mandolin. Okay. With some interesting history behind it. What history is behind it here? It's an instrument that was owned by a member of Bob Wills' Texas Playboys. Nice. You know, Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys, or Texas Swing Band. Wow, I mean, this is really cool, but it's kind of hard to be cool playing this thing unless you're like an Oompa Loompa or something. <laughs> You don't have the guys we have today without the foundation that Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys set for us. This was music where nobody sat down and the place was packed. We'll just see if these guys are willing to come to the plate and play ball. Now, Texas Swing, there's people playing, you know, washboards and jugs and everything, you name it. You know, somewhere between Hank Williams and Elvis, there had to be something in the middle there. Right, and, and that's Texas Swing. I mean, it's really cool. The leather work on it is really good. The gentleman this belonged to, he was known as Fiddle in It. And shortly after he purchased it, had this leather wrap done up. Pretty impressive. Mandolins have been used in country music for as long as the genre has been around. Collectors will pay big money for stuff like this if it's really connected to the Texas Playboys. How much do you want for it? Uh, you know, I think it's probably worth anywhere from three to five. Thousand? Thousand. Okay. Now, do you got anything back in your story up here? I do. Uh, this is an affidavit that I had the last owner fill out and sign. All right. Owned by Ed Whitaker, Texas Playboy, played with Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys. <sighs> Unfortunately, this does nothing for me. Why would you say that? This, this is, isn't concrete enough for me to sell that on. This is notarized. Okay, this is, is a gentleman saying this is indeed fact. Let me call a buddy of mine down here to come check this out. He'll help me be able to back up the story and let me know what this adds to it, all right? All right, let's get him in here. I'll be right back. This is it, man. Pretty awesome. So what did you need to know? So it was one of the members in the band, the Texas Playboys, that played with Bob Wills. Oh, cool, cool. Well, you know, Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys, that's kind of the guys who popularized the whole Texas swing thing. These were the big bands from the southern parts of the United States. And, you know, the Texas Playboys would come into town and whatever dance hall they were playing, it was packed. They called it Texas swing for a reason. When these guys played, everybody danced. So in terms of mandolins, where's this stack up? The leather wrap on it's pretty rad. This was a really big popular thing in the country scene that morphed over into rock and roll. You see Elvis Presley with his Martin and the whole top of it's wrapped in leather. So, you know, this that's actually pretty cool that this is on there. Who did that? Uh, Whitaker actually did that, the original owner, Ed Whitaker. Do you have any paperwork or anything? I, I do. Um, I had the owner, a gentleman by the name of R.J. Cannon, compile his story. This was willed to him by, by. Uh, Ed Whitaker. Do you have any pictures of any of the guys in the Playboys playing it? I, I don't. In the retail end of things, pictures right. usually help things. That's why I had him notarize this. Yeah, and, and, that, and that helps. So how do you feel, as it says, this package? This mandolin by itself is a $1,500, $1,600 mandolin. With the provenance and the Playboy's tie and all that kind of stuff, it's probably, you know, three to four grand. All right, well, I got you. Appreciate yeah. it, my man. There's going to be that guy that the affidavit is good enough for, and that's a Bob Wills fan. With all that being said, buddy, I'm willing to offer you two grand for it. You know, we both know that's not the best you can do. Uh, it's pretty damn close, buddy. I'm confident I could sell it for around three grand, and I'm taking all the risk. Two grand is what I'm gonna do. I'll tell you what, meet me in the middle at 25, and we've got a deal. I'm not gonna do it. I'll go, I'll $2,100 if it makes you feel better. How about 21 without the case, 22 since that's a $100 flight case? All right, you got a deal. All right. All right, meet me over there. We'll do some paperwork, right? Okay. Yeah, you know, twenty-two hundred is fair. Quite frankly, I thought they were going to offer me around a thousand dollars. So you got to put your poker face on in that case and not look overly excited. <laughs>